Hello my amazing artists! So today we are going to get started on making our amazing weather cycle paintings. So this is a final piece we are going to start today, but today we are only going to work on the first cycle of the weather cycle. So in the story, the rain came first. So we are going to start making painting inspired by rain today. So I am going to show you how to do that. But first, let's get a little bit of artist inspiration from Jackson Pollock. Jackson Pollock was an American abstract painter. So here's one of his paintings. By looking at this painting, how does Jackson Pollock get the paint onto the paper. Do you think you know how? Do you think it was by using a paintbrush? Or do you think maybe he finger painted? Or do you think maybe he just dripped his paint onto a canvas? What do you think? So Jackson Pollock actually dripped his paint onto the canvas. So just like the rain in the story went drip, drip, tap, tap, we are going to drip on our painting like Jackson Pollock. Make sure before we get started that you have permission to paint. If you don't have paint, you could use water-based markers, or you can even soak a tea bag, or you can use food dyes, or you can maybe use coffee staining for this. Um, so whatever you have at home. So let's get started with painting. So we will need to create a circle out of white paper first. So first you wanna get white paper and fold it in half horizontally like a birthday card. Then trace on a half circle. And then you are going to cut it out and you will have a full circle when it's all cut out. So now I'm going to get out my supplies. I have my paint, my water, my paintbrush. I am ready to start dripping. So I have already created a few drips at the top of my paper. So I have some. I am taking a lot of water on my brush. Make sure your brush is very wet so the water just kind of drips off and you are going to put your paintbrush at the top of the page. See that all the drips come from the top of the page. So now we start at the top of the page and you can slowly watch your raindrops drip down. And you can put on different colors and notice different things about the colors as they blend together. So look, I have some blues and some greens. And they're all dripping. You might want to hold up your paper so they drip a little bit more. So here I hold it up and I kind of want my drops to go all the way down the page. You can watch your raindrops race. So one might go faster than the other if you have more water on your brush. You can even create wind and blow them in different directions so you can blow on them and they will go different directions. So here I am dripping and I am using my whole page to create raindrops. I am going around the whole entire page now and trying to get the raindrops to drip all the way to the bottom. And I'm also using different colors. So I would like you to think like an artist and explore the colors and what you can create on your paper by dripping paint. So this was pretty much my final result. And I would like you to send me your work today and let me know if you have any questions at all. All right, so enjoy painting.